Welcome back to the channel guys and girls, or welcome to the channel if you're new. As you can see, we're doing another reload. It's going to be solo versus duo again. I think we're going to keep attempting this until we can get a victory royale, just like we did with uh, solo versus squads. Hopefully you liked the victory royale from yesterday's video. Let's get into this one. Here we go. So if somebody landed above us, you heard the door open and slam, so we knew we had to get down. Either that or go up and push, but I didn't really want to do that. So we're going to run up behind this tree here, and if you look back up to the lookout tower, You see that guy took fall damage there, he dropped down a whole level, and didn't make his landing. So we're at Dusty Dock right here, and there's a couple teams actually fighting, so we're trying to sneak up on them. I don't have a clue how this guy didn't look the other direction to see me. So we actually flew up onto this roof and there was a med kit waiting for us. We had no clue it was here, but it's a good thing that it was. We actually tried healing, and then we seen that our shockwave's gonna fall, so we cancelled it, and we lost our med kit because we cancelled it. So we only got like, five health from it. But we did end up refilling, and we're heading back to Tilted now. So there were some people fighting down here. It looks like they all have crowns. He's trying to get the finish on this guy, but his partner boxed him in. And we got the double finish here because he didn't get time to res his teammate. We do have a crown now. We've got four eliminations, seven people remaining. I tried getting the finish here, but his teammate started pushing, so I didn't really want to try and finish him off and die because of it. There's another team above me, I can hear him. I was just going to push him and try and knock one, but those guys are pretty adamant about staying alive, so... This is where we got the double elimination. We're going to come in here for a big pot, but the storm was already too close, so we didn't want to chance it. So we are still alive. There's five people remaining, so it's just us and two more teams. Somehow the reboot's still available. Got a squad in here, so there's only two other people other than us. And this guy pops over and shots us. 
So I didn't realize we're in second place, but it was actually a team of a duo and me. That's why there was three people remaining. So we had six eliminations. I believe that was the highest elimination game we've had so far. There was a guy coming up the towers. So I put some floors down so he couldn't really just grapple up. So we had a quest for using two bandages, we completed that while we were in the storm, and then we seen this person AFK. There's quite a few teams here, and we're trying to get the finish off this bird, but he actually built around himself so we couldn't. We got a headshot on this guy, though. I believe this is the bird that we didn't get the finish on the first time. And there was somebody inside that wall that was busted open, so we tried sniping, but we didn't have ammo in the sniper at the time. So we turned and seen these people over here, we decided to push them. What I should have done was opened up the corner of this cone here and shot from the opening, but I didn't think about it at the time. Now we're being targeted by two different teams. We actually made a short about this a couple days ago. This is where we're inside the building and we shockwave up. But this is the team that actually eliminated the bird character that we just eliminated not too long ago. So I was going to try and edit a window here, and then his teammate broke through, and that was the end of that. <laughs> there was no engaging past that point. I could have shockwaved away, but I didn't have time. So I knew there was somebody fighting in this building down here, so I wanted to push. Right now I have all shotguns. And I actually missed with that attack, so...
I used up all my mats. This guy's actually standing at the back leg of the steel llama over here, though. He's got the same idea as me, just wait for a peek and then snipe. I actually seen his pickaxe sticking out, and that's what we sniped here. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and click the like button. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click subscribe. Click the box on the left for videos YouTube will recommend. Click the box on the right for playlists for the season so you can choose which video you'd like to watch next. Thanks again. Stay safe. Stay positive.